Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the girl once again, Nanya. Yeah, Nanya in the building. <laughs> so it's a beautiful cold day, and I'm excited to shoot the video. Oh, he likes to shoot this video. Okay, I just didn't want today to go in vain without me shooting this video. So I woke up today feeling very positive, feeling very good, feeling very alive. You know, I just woke up today feeling different and should I say rejuvenated, like just feeling so good. And I just wanted to stay on my bed, sleep and not do anything. But I said, no, I'm not going to waste today. I'm, I'm not going to let today slip me by without making this video, okay? And <laughs> the reason why I decided to make this particular video is because I was, you know, having a talk with my girlfriend and, you know, this particular came up and then I was like yeah I'm going to make this video because mm, yeah I think I'm going to make this video so that's why I'm making this video okay I don't want to talk too much because I see I'm going to talk too much so let's dive right into this video so guys welcome back to my channel with a caption you already know what this video is all about yeah so I'm going to be talking about some things that guys do, or should I say men do, that women don't like. You heard me. We don't like it. Okay, I'm a woman, so I know what some of us don't like. Okay? I'm not speaking for everyone, but I know that maybe at least some, or should I say at least 60% of women are also having this kind of ish. And they might not tell you because they don't want you to feel bad. But hey, over here, I'm going to say everything. I'm gonna talk about it, okay? <laughs> so yeah, but I'm going to be talking about things that guys or let's say men do that we don't like. Now the first one is, you know when you're giving your man a BJ and we know that you're enjoying yourself. We know you're enjoying the moment. We know you're in the moment. We know we are taking you to cloud nine. Now, that is not the problem. The problem is when you're giving the man the BJ and he keeps pushing your head like this. Like, seriously? That is a turn off. You don't get to push her head like this. Like, you want her, her, your whole um, D to go into our mouth. Like, you want it to come out of her head or even come out from our legs. Like, seriously, it is not funny don't push our head just allow us to do our job allow we know we are taking you to cloud nine we know you're 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 like you're in heaven we know you're you're you're, you're you don't even know where you are at that particular moment you just feel like oh my god it feels so good but please don't push our head like you want us to you want your choke us like allow us don't push keep pushing our head like uh, uh. Now imagine if you're eating a banana and then your woman pushes your head to the banana and then mistakenly enters the wrong pipe. How are you gonna feel? You won't feel good, right? So stop doing that. We don't like it. Just allow us to do the job. We know you're enjoying yourself, but don't push our head. It is not nice. Okay? So that is number one. Number two. Ah, guys, you know, we love for play. I mean, this no foreplay is something that you need to talk with your, your, your woman, okay? We love foreplay. Brings that closeness, you know, that feeling of that feeling of closeness to us. You don't just come and tell us like, oh, you want to go down with us and then you just, boom, you pull up your trousers and you start the job. We know no foreplay, nothing like no touching, no communication because yes, when you're going down with your woman, Okay, or your man there should be like some, some kind of communication it could be body language it could be moaning it could be talks like you know small talks like it could be like eye cock signal like using your eyes to communicate telling your man what you should do next or you can even just use the word of mouth and tell your woman like i want you to do this or your man i want you to do this to me you know touch me here touch me there you know do this to me and do that to me so why would you want to get down with me with no foreplay like seriously it is not nice. We want foreplay, okay? We need you to touch, you know, touch the whole of our essence, like the whole from head to toe, like make us feel good. And then we're going to re reciprocate, okay? By also making you feel good. Touch, 
she you know touch those beautiful places like those places that you're supposed to be touched you don't just go down and pull your trousers and then boom 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 you're doing everything nah 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 you have to start before play okay you have to touch those places i mean those places are not just there for you know looking and for fancy there's a reason why those those things were added to your body okay it is meant to be touched and so it's to be explored okay so do the needful okay <laughs> i'm being a little bit dramatic but hey like i said i woke up feeling good so i just want to bring up myself in this video i just want to feel like i'm communicating like you know i'm like talking to you guys like one on one okay not just making a video okay <laughs> so number three is you know when um you know I know some men do do this like when you're about to come and then you come your body now some women might not have problems with this like on her body but be a gentleman and ask her if she sh you should come on her body because it's not nice and the worst part of it is those kind of men that will come on your body I won't even have the courtesy to get you at all. Rather, they will ask you to go clean yourself up. Like, like really? Or maybe when they even get, or they, like, at least try to get you at all, they just throw it on your body like, it's nothing. At least, if you want to come on her body, ask her first. If she says, fine, you can, then you do that. And then when you do that, try to stand up and go get her a tall. Okay, be a gentleman. Don't just make it feel like it like it doesn't mean anything to you. Try to go get her a tall. And even if you do get her a tall, don't just throw it on her body like poking yourself up. No. Because you know very well that that um you know the that thing, I don't wanna call the name doesn't you know when it stays in your body for a longer time it has this kind of not really good smell and not really that bad smell but the smell i wouldn't say it's a good smell okay so just try to be a gentleman and go get her at all because i mean it's it's coming from you okay so that is for that now the next one is you know guys um when it comes to suckling on the meat I just made a video recently about how to you know give your woman a new orgasm so if you haven't watched that video please once you're done with this video please rush go watch that video it's very interesting trust me so you know these guys that don't know how to fondle on the boobs like they have they like holding the boobs like it's some kind of foam like you grab it and you start jiggling and start pressing it like this it is not nice i mean Sometimes, even maybe during ovulation, when your woman is ovulating, the boobs are really painful and soft. Now, imagine when you're funding it like you're trying to own a generator, like you're drawing it and holding, or even holding the nip and pressing it like this, or using your teeth and or you, you, you put the whole nip in your mouth, like, oh, please, calm down, take it easy, okay? You need to learn how to handle the meat, okay? Not just the meat, the whole booby. Handle it with care. Be a gentleman. Take your time. Try to explore. Try to know where she loves to be touched. Try to understand her. Try to learn her body. Try to know what works for her. Where, she, where you need to touch her. And then she's going to be all over like, oh, take me to heaven. Okay? Please, take it easy with the meat. Sometimes it can be very painful and sometimes it is sensitive to touch. <laughs> I'm really being dramatic in this video. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is for that. Now the next one is you know these guys that um when you guys are you know in the mood you guys are having it like the moment like you know that moment when you guys are the whole thing is not entering like you know you're feeling yourself and you're about to show the, you know god giving talent that god gave you and then your man starts asking you are you coming like hello if i were coming i would tell you or from my body language you're going to know i'm coming don't just start asking me are you coming like you want to ask me five times six times 
it is really uncomfortable like you're making me feel like i'm not even satisfying you like i'm not doing a great job with you you're making me feel like oh uh, you're gonna make me feel like you know you just want you know us to get everything done like just let's do it and get dressed and you know that's just it don't just ask me i know women do that as well like you ask your man are you coming but don't always act like acting like five six seven times from his body language or from her body language it's going to tell you or sometimes they can even tell you like you don't even need to ask they're going to tell you like yes i'm coming and that is when you can increase the pace you're going to make her feel like um when you keep asking her are you coming it's going to make her feel like you're not she's not really satisfying you like you just want you know to do and just go your way okay stop asking are you coming are you coming it's not nice okay darling and the next one is you know these guys that will always come and tell you um if i get catch you on the bed hey if i catch you in the inner room hmm, hey i will shift to one side of your room or if i catch you i'm a king in the bedroom like hey who asked you no one asked you we don't want to know we want to see it with our eyes in fact you don't even need to tell us like you're good we are going to know that you're good okay you need to tell us that you're good from okay let us use our eyes our two eyes okay and and see okay because you know, the truth is even if you keep you like say from today to tomorrow action speaks louder we don't want you to we don't want to hear we don't want you to tell us oh i'm good if i catch you hey you're going to you're going to go home with bent legs and then, then when the business starts and the woman just opens her queue you just see something just and that's just it you guys have not even started the business and he's already okay so don't tell us like you're good and all that let us see it. okay let us see and tell like use our mouth and tell like yeah you're good like you're damn good don't just tell us oh i'm good i'm a king like feeling over pompous and then when the show starts we have nothing to show for it like we just feel like this and looking at each other okay so don't tell us okay allow us to see like i said action speaks louder okay okay now then the next one is morning i know sometimes we think that women should be the only one morning and you know making those sweet noises and everything but hey we want you to also mourn morning is meant for everyone both women and men so please guys please darlings please daddies try and mourn for us okay we want to hear you scream you must not make those sounds like yes uh oh mm, mm, uh. you can just call our name okay remember some people are not good in expressing themselves through you know making sounds but they can express themselves through body language it's just like money is just like a form of appreciation you're appreciating what your partner is doing for you so even if you're not good in you know saying like words you can express through body language okay like the way you grab us the way you you know hold our waist the way you tap the, the back side it's also like a way of expressing yourself but we also love when you use words okay like call our name you can even you know moan under your breath you can just do something like don't just think that women are the only ones that should you know okay so try and moan moan for us okay these are things that women want but you know want but they don't know how to tell you okay so and now i'm telling you so that you will know i just like i'm speaking on behalf of others so try a moan, moan for us, okay? We like it when you moan. We want to see how you feel. Like we want to know that you're, we are really doing a good job with you. Like you're really enjoying what you're doing, what we are doing to you, and you're really satisfied, okay? So try and moan, or rather, just do something like show signs that you're doing. Don't just stay there and just focus on the ladies, okay? We also want you to you know moan. We love it. We love to hear you do that. Okay. So yeah, guys, I'm giving you guys you know you know um I think 
I, I think I, I mentioned five or six, you know, things that men should, you know, improve in that they do that women don't like. And they might not tell you because they don't want to make you feel bad. Okay? So the tips I shared are things like, should I say common things that I believe little women might see as an issue, but they don't know how to tell you, okay? So you can just improve in this because these are things that we want you guys to improve in, okay? So yeah, I've shared with you guys and I hope that there's going to be seeing changes, okay? Remember, communication is everything, so communicate with your woman to know if you're doing a great job in the inner room, okay? It is very, very important. So yeah, I'm going to be ending this video here. I'm super excited to go. I don't know why. <laughs> and today is almost coming to an end. It's already midnight. So I'm going to be ending this video. So see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.